Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making sweet pea soap and I am going to do a little bit of piping on the top, just some um, little sweet peas with maybe a little bit of vines. I have Love Song from Nurture Soap and also Enchantment and I'm going to have a base of white. I just want a small swirl in the, in the soap and then like I said I'm going to do a little bit of piping on the top. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and pipe on top of this sweet pea soap. I have the green with a writer tip three. It's just a tiny, tiny writer tip. 
And then I have a 104 Wilton for the pink. And then I also have a Leaf Tip 352 that I will, that's why I have a coupler here on the green. I can switch it out to do some leaves. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of um, randomly do some vines. I don't have a, any like rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I'm just... doing whatever. Okay, then for the sweet pea, I'm going to have the large end of the tip facing down. And I'm just going to go squeeze in the center and go up and back. And then I'm going to do it on this side as well as this side. So I'll end up putting, when I have the leaf tip in, I'll end up putting the little, I forget what they're called, right here. So that won't show that it went down too far. So you can make them all different sizes and if you wanna just do like one little bloom on there, you can do it however you want. So I'm just gonna randomly place a few of these and then I will continue on with more greenery and leaves.
Okay, it has been about 24 hours and we're gonna go ahead and cut sweet pea and I'm just loving the light pink and the green and it's just, I don't know, I love the top too. And this fragrance is so, so nice. I don't think I made it last year, but I don't know why because it's really nice. I got it from Wholesale Supplies Plus if anybody needs a good sweet pea fragrance. Um, I really like the piping on this one too. I think it turned out okay. So they're just going to be real delicate, which is what I think of when I think of sweet peas. I just like soft and delicate. I hope you guys can't hear my neighbor's music. I think they're having a dance party over here. It's simple but pretty. So I started to tell in my um, Rainbow Sherbert video about, I had said on a couple videos back, you know, we were, had been house hunting and we found a house and everything was set to go. Um, the only thing we needed to do, we'd already have the appraisal. All of that was done, the home inspection. Um, everything was good. And then all this happened. And like I said before in my other video, our pest control business basically came to a halt because we do commercial pest control and the hotels here at the beach are closed. So my husband's been home, but when this all happened, we kind of freaked out because of course when you buy a home, you have to put a substantial amount of money down for a down payment. And we were afraid to do that, not knowing how long this whole thing's gonna last and how long before you know our pest control business gets back up and going again. So it was so hard to make the decision because I have, I've loved this house. I fell in love with that house. But I had to realize that as hard as it was, the right decision was to keep our money in the bank just in case and look again once, you know, and who knows? I thought, oh, what if I buy, we buy this home and then it drops $50,000 in a couple months, the value of it because of the economy. And... Um, so yeah, we made that decision. Almost didn't get our earnest money back. I had to fight for that. We at least got that back, but we did lose some money for the home appraisal and inspection, but we took it as it's better that we're doing this and in the long run, it's better that we're, we're staying here for now. We still wanna buy something. Uh, we're just, everything's on hold right now for not just us, but everybody in this world because of the coronavirus. And I'm also a registered nurse, so I've been toying with the idea of going back to work if it gets bad down here. Um, but we'll see how that goes. As of right now, I'm not planning on it unless I'm needed. And in, in my state, in my county, it's not that bad right now. It's so pretty. So um, I'm just gonna hold off on that, but just an update on the house. And let me think if there's a duck update. You guys love those too. Hoppy still comes around. Um, she's got a boy boyfriend with her all the time. It's the two of them. And I think she has a nest around here. I haven't found it. I've been all over the house and we have bushes and stuff all over like the sides of our house and stuff. And I've been looking to see if I can find a nest because she hangs out here like every day, but I haven't been able to find a nest. So I'm not sure if she's laid any eggs yet. The swans have been gone for days. Like, I haven't seen them in over a week. And I'm wondering if they're, you know, the mom's sitting on her eggs somewhere and then I'll see them all of a sudden show up with baby swans. And I haven't seen any geese yet. They get obnoxious because there's so many of them and we don't really need any more. But, um, so that's really what's going on with all that. Other than that, I hope you guys are well. And I'll continue to make soap and videos and hopefully give you guys something, a distraction from everything that's going on. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.